because of like how fiber they fibery they are, like how they can pull apart just like meat would. And if you move some of the moisture that's naturally in there without steaming them, then you get like a really nice meaty bite. It's breaking it up into just really fine little strips. And the way that I did it was I actually put it into like a KitchenAid stand mixer with a whisk attachment on it and just let it run at high speed for a while. And it just shreds it, it just tears it apart. Instead of using a blender, which would just, you know, blend it into like a mush. The flavoring of almost all this, all seafood things is either gonna be like a seaweed or like, I like using kelp granules. I think they really impart like a really nice seafood flavor and then making it just like slightly salty, you know? And then like, once you get those things, you know, maybe a touch of sweetness, like touch a little bit of agave or something. Once you put all those together, then you have that really mild taste. Tuna is, even though it's it's moist or it's packed in water, but tuna is actually naturally kind of dry when you eat it, like the cooked tuna. So you just want to do the same thing to the mushrooms. Throw them in the oven with the door a little open, with the oven on its lowest setting, and let these dry for about an hour to two hours. We just want them to have about the same kind of consistency as canned tuna. a little bit of cornstarch, probably just like half of a teaspoon. Cause right now, you know, the mushrooms, they have nothing that's gonna like bind them together. And in like real tuna, you know, there's like proteins and things like that, that kind of like, kind of help them stick a little bit. It has kind of like that chewiness, the slightly brittle. And then you mix it in some vegan mayo, some just mayo or something, a little bit of dill, and you have, you know, a really good tuna salad. Some of my favorites are like, I love the lion's mane mushroom. It's so versatile. Lion's mane mushroom works really well in like beefy or like really meaty, something that needs like a really dense texture, king oyster mushroom. I mean, you could close your eyes and it felt like a steak. Pink oyster mushrooms are really cool, add a little smokiness to them and they taste like bacon. loaded with a bunch of my what my favorite recipes which I consider to be the basis to get people to experiment because that's that's my biggest thing I don't necessarily even when I'm making the videos want people to just make that and eat it how it is that's why I never make full dishes like covers chicken pork fish you know, there's even some egg recipes in there and beef and then there's a whole breakdown of how I discovered, you know, my favorite ingredients, how I use them, and then ways to use them in different recipes that, you know, like I haven't done yet in the book or haven't done on video.